Well, hello, Pixies, and welcome to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Today, we are going to be heading inside of one of the standard view fit the sleeper rooms here at Caribbean Beach Resort. And today's room tour is actually hosted by Danielle. She is a travel agent and mom of three who specializes in booking Disney parks, Disney Cruise Line, as well as Universal vacations. So if you are interested in getting a little personalized assistance with your booking process, someone who knows your trip, your dates, and everything, and can keep you on top of the knowledge that you need to know to be prepared for your Disney vacation, definitely check her out. I will have her information linked below. As a mom of three, she completely understands the need for these fifth sleeper options here at Disney World. So if you are a larger family and need some help, definitely check out Danielle and her information is again linked below. Now on to the rest of the video. So there are actually 24 different buildings here at Caribbean Beach. So it's rather sprawl sprawling. So depending on what type of room you are in will depend on what section of the resort you end up at. But for us today, being in that standard view fifth sleeper, those rooms are either going to be found in Trinity Trinidad, Jamaica, or in Aruba. So those are some of the closer though spots to the Skyliner. So that's actually kind of nice here at Caribbean Beach. A standard room is actually kind of a perk. Um, some of the others you need the preferred to have that closer um, to transportation option, but being most people, if you're staying here, are probably staying for the Skyliner, you're gonna wanna be a little bit closer to that. So staying in a standard view room is a great way to go here at Caribbean Beach. You are, with those rooms, you are about a 10 to 15 minute walk from the main building here, which is exactly what I'm doing right now, but it is not too bad and being closer to the Skyliner is really, really nice and a nice perk. They do though have bus stops spread out throughout the resort, so you don't have to come to the main building to go to the bus stop. There is one there, but there's actually multiple spread out throughout each section of the resort, so you're probably probably going to be about a five minute walk from that from your room, depending on where you are in that little general section. But it does save you some steps, it means you ride the bus a little bit longer, but I would rather ride a bus and be in the AC than walk. <laughs> I feel like most of you guys are probably in that same boat as I am. And then as far as transportation goes, you do have those two different options. So you're gonna have the bus transportation that will take you to Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom from here at this resort, or you can take the Skyliner over to Hollywood Studios or Epcot. There are definitely, they do run buses for Hollywood Studios and Epcot for those that are not Skyliner fans, but I feel like if you're staying here, you're probably gonna wanna get on the Skyliner. That's kind of the appeal of this resort for a lot of people. So just wanted to share that you do have transportation options and you're not just limited to buses here at Caribbean Beach. So these rooms have actually recently been renovated. This is what used to be the old pirate rooms, which were much, much darker than this. So we are loving the absolute bright and colorful vibe in here in this room. I love that they have taken out the carpet so it just feels more sanitary it may not be but it feels more sanitary obviously the colors of the room are so much brighter here at this resort now and then just all over all the vibe of kind of the it's not a little mermaid room it is kind of under the sea mermaid but it has little mermaid touches throughout here like you'll see Sebastian and flounder later on but that's kind of what that is looking like but here on this side of the room you do have your window to the outside world and it does go to the outer like shared world walkway there but you do have quite a lovely view we are over in the Trinidad section which is pretty close to the Skyliner you've got your air conditioning unit sitting right there I do have my stroller just kind of collapsed we are on the second floor with the second floor units like I mentioned earlier you do not have an elevator so I had to carry it up the stairs um, collapsed anyway so I just plopped it right there and it's easy ready to go right back out the door coming over you do have a nice full-length mirror here which is really nice to be able to like get ready in the morning check out your outfit whatever if you are into mirror selfies depending on your age that sort of thing then coming over this is a setup with my toddler in her inflatable bed and then I'll show you our mini crib pack and play situation in a second but that's how that looks so this is kind of what your situation could be like if you have twins or two young kids like I do this is kind of the situation situation that we're at with this obviously there are, can only be five people in this room so depending on how many like and how the situation works will look a little different but trying to give multiple options for larger families so with this we do have like I said the inflatable bed in here and then I have this little princess sheet that I put over the bed and that's just is my little inflatable situation for my toddler that is where she likes to sleep she's used to her tent from being in a pack and play so that's what we use for her 
spinning around to this side and that is actually something I bring with me like we pack this in our checked luggage or put it in our owner's locker that sort of thing then popping back over to here this is what it looks like all set up in a second I'll insert some footage and show you what it looks like just the regular um, bed without it but they did actually bring me a mini crib this time I requested a pack and play sometimes you get those sometimes you will get a mini crib but coming over this way you do have the slumber pod set up over it and then I just brought our own little pack and play sheet and that fit on this mattress as well it just gives my daughter a little sense of home and a little smell and it just kind of makes it a little more her space um, which I'm all for good sleep at Disney like obviously we want to sleep good at home but on vacation and after long days in the parks you want good sleep and so that's what gives it for our girls now for those of you that don't know you can actually utilize disney's free either pack and plays or mini cribs they have more pack and plays than mini cribs but you can request either one of those and then they also do have bed rails which i'll show you here in a second but to get those as soon as you're in your room you can request them at the front desk or even you can have your travel agent like danielle request them when she's putting in the booking and all that stuff she can actually request those things for you which makes it nice one less request but if you end up in your room it's not there for whatever reason Mickey can make mistakes unfortunately it happens he's a little busy but all you have to do is go to your phone and press the little resort services or housekeeping button depending on what your phone looks like I've seen both whatever that is press that button and let them know hey I'm in room whatever and I need to get a pack and play a bed rail two bed rails whatever the situation is two pack and plays if you have twins I know I have some twin moms out there, but whatever that is, is super easy to get and that's all you do. So let's jump back into the room tour. Now for this bed, you can actually fold it down. It is a queen bed and you do have to move that. So I'll kind of share how all of this looks folded down in just a bit, put that towards the end of the video, but that does fold down into another queen size bed, which is really, really nice to have, especially if you do have multiple adults and say one little one in the room, that can be really helpful. Or if you just have older kids and they're better at sleeping in a bed like that, versus like my toddler who sleep, prefers sleeping in her slumber pod. So whatever that looks like for your family, definitely a lot of options here. And then looking at this one, this is a single bed. So that will fold down. I'll show that at, very, at the very end too. I'll show both of those beds, but that does fold down into a single bed and you can put a bed rail on it, that sort of thing if you want to for your little one. And it's really great. I would not suggest anyone over five, three though, sleeping on that bed because they're pretty small. It is not a twin size bed. It's a single bed, which is a difference. Um, coming up top here, you do have some nice little organization. We have our sound machine. This is the one I've started bringing for us and it actually will work while plugged in, which is really, really nice. And then I can just unplug it, pop it in our stroller for naps on the go. So really like that. We do have a couple of outlets up here and then a couple of USBs. You have one traditional USB and one USB C for anything with newer technology. Coming over, we just have some of our things setting up there. And then under the little bench there. So if you left it, you could sit there and put on your shoes in the morning, whatever you need to do. And you also have storage underneath, which is really, really nice, especially if you do have a full five people sleeping in this room. You've got the whole family in here, one big happy family and one little tiny room, as we like to say, then you are probably going to want some of this storage space. And so that's kind of what that looks like. It gives you room for all your different things. Again, if you're spending a week at Disney, you need storage because I'm sure you brought a few things. Coming over here to this side, you have your big TV there on the wall and then lots of counter space here which is really nice if you need to like spread some things out whatever that looks like for your family and then coming in here you do have again three pretty good sized drawers you can see quite a few clothes in there I can definitely fit like packing cubes things like that so if you're someone who likes to do that put your packing cubes in there I really enjoy doing that on other trips and so that's kind of a nice little situation there but then you have two more of those exact same drawers just kind of coming down the wall there and then over here you do have another little drawer it's a little bit sh more shallow um, but definitely you can put quite a bit in there it is a pretty deep drawer like you can see my arm like it doesn't even touch the back so it's pretty deep actually and then opening this this is going to be your beverage cooler and that is a beverage cooler not a mini fridge they only cool to 41 degrees and above so you're not gonna be able to put a lot of 
things in here, Dil milk, dairy products, like that sort of thing, um, isn't really gonna be great in here. Um, it's mainly for beverages. The pouches that I have in here, um, my girls love these, but they are actually ones that don't have to be refrigerated. We just refrigerate them because then they are cold and they, I don't know, they prefer the taste of them when they're cold. Um, they will eat them when they're warm, but they prefer them when they're chilly. Um, so I will toss those in there, but I love shelf stable products. So that's another option is if you wanted to do like shelf stable milk, if your child can drink it, then you can definitely put that in there and cool it, but it, you're not having to be concerned about it going bad or spoiling. So just a little tidbit there for anyone who is bringing things, picking up groceries, whatnot. Coming on down this kind of shelf we have going on here, I've got my little charging setups. I love having some extra little things like this. I'll link it down below, but just being able to plug in and kind of expand your charging abilities in spaces where you don't have a lot. There are two outlets there, one USB-C and then one regular USB. Sitting there, you've got your whole coffee situation with your little Joffrey's pods there. And then let's see, just all regular. A lot of times they will also put decal decaf in there, but you can definitely ask housekeeping for some decaf. If you are a decaf kind of person, you do have some shelves up here, which is really nice. If you are like bringing groceries and doing that whole situation, you're going to be here for a while. That is amazing to have. Popping down here, we do have a little in-room safe. If you have any valuables that you would like to stow away, and then you're just trash and recycling the basics right there. Spinning around to the other side of the room, you have the bed there, we do have a queen size bed, and I love that it's off the floor, and as you can see, you're able to put like suitcases and things under there, which is really, really nice, especially like I said, if you are a family of five in this room, you're gonna need places to put things, and so that is really helpful. Coming over here to the nightstand on this side of the bed, you do have your in-room phone, you have the light for the fan on the fan, and then you have the fan itself, and then your light for beside of the bed, which is cool, and then they've started doing these at the deluxe and I'm loving seeing them at the moderates too. But they're these little pull out reading lights, which I think are so cool. And you can like angle these things anywhere. Like that's insane to me. Um, so I think that's really cool. So if you're someone who likes to sit in bed and read, that is perfect. Or you just need to sit in bed and do some work, whatever it looks like for you, that is amazing for your electrical charging privileges. You do have two outlets, a USB and then USB-C there. And then more storage underneath. You do have a drawer, got your Bible, and you can kind of see compared to the Bible, like what um, room you have in there for a few little odds and things. And then coming around to the other side of the bed, which I love, because a lot of times the middle is the only one that gets the love of the nightstand. And this side is just, left out but they actually have a little ledge nightstand going on over here and then again the same like charging things over here that's been in the rest of the room and then on this side you do actually have a traditional two plug outlet down there which is really nice to be able to charge things if you need to and then I'm gonna close this so you can see that it actually does close off to the rest of the room which is really nice so if you're in there getting ready, multiple family members, you've got like mom and dad and then grandma and grandpa, like you can kind of split off and have a little privacy when you're getting ready in the morning, whatever you need to. Or if you're just a family, your kids are sleeping and you need to like not get ready in the dark, you can close that and be able to turn on a little light in here in the bathroom area and be able to get ready without disturbing everyone else in the room. You do have a double sink, which is really, really nice, especially if you, again, have five people in this room. That is amazing to be able to have multiple people getting ready at once. On this side under the bottom, you do have a drawer, which is cool. So you can put any like toiletries, things like that, down in that drawer. On the shelf here, they do have just some towels and things for you to use. A hand towel for you in the center. And then we just have like some shoes over there. And then obviously extra toilet paper, tissues, things like that. This is amazing. And I really wish they would add this to other resorts because with little kids, toddlers, this is amazing but it is a stool and peep that cute little Mickey but it literally just slides up and under there so that's amazing I love that and if you have like a potty trained toddler you could totally like drag it over there and let them be able to like get up on the potty by themselves um, and that it, I just I love that so thank you Disney for making that please add them to more rooms <laughs> Coming over here, you do have your rather tall closet. Starting out at the top, you have some extra pillows and blankets. You've got your hangers, your um, iron and ironing border in here, as well as a little luggage rack if you have room for it in this space. But love that, and it is 
quite, quite large. Coming up to the top, that is actually not for guests. It's locked off, so I'm not quite sure what that's for. Um, but up here on this shelf, you do have your hair dryer. Coming down, you have another kind of taller like shelf that you could like set a suitcase or something like that on if you needed to. And then you have a shelf there at the bottom. And I love it for my fellow owner's locker owners. <laughs> the owner's locker fits right in that corner. So I was like very happily <laughs> sliding that in there like, oh yay, it actually has room for that. So coming back up here though, you do have your double sinks like we saw earlier. You just have a few toiletries sitting around. You've got your tissues and then a little soap dish here and then a pretty good size mirror. It's not quite as bright as some of the other moderate rooms we've stayed in. It feels a little dark in here, um, but it's not terrible. Like it's, you can still get ready in here, you can see, but it's just not quite as bright as some of them are. So that's, I don't know, you can take it or leave it. That's what it is. Um, coming over to the side, you have a couple of outlets for plugging in hair dryers, things like that. And then you do have your lighted makeup mirror. I swear those are, thing, those are for moms getting ready in the dark in the morning. Like I can turn that on and it's almost like a nightlight and it doesn't disturb anyone else in the room when my kids aren't in their like slumber pods and um, yeah, that was designed for a mom or by a mom. Okay, coming into the bathroom. I love this tile, very tropical. I'm loving the color scheme in this bathroom, but coming in here, it is very bright, very white, which personally I love. I do not like a dark, dingy bathroom that feels like I'm in a dungeon. Like I did not come to Disney to stay in a dungeon. So this is what it looks like. You do have all of your shampoo, conditioner, body wash there on the wall. Have a little box here so you can, I love this because especially as a toddler mom, I can put my shaving cream, my razor, things like that up away from them so they can't touch it. That's really, really nice. Coming down, you do have your traditional tub and shower combo over here, which is nice with the glass sliding doors. So you do have those instead of a traditional like shower curtain situation going on in here. And then there they are, Sebastian and Flounder, which I'm sorry, that is Little Mermaid's friends. So of course, that's why a lot of people think these are Little Mermaid rooms. And then coming down, just have some Clorox wipes there. And then we have my toddler's potty seat. That's like our travel one, folds up really, really nicely and helps her not fall in the potty, which is really good. Then obviously your trash and your toilet paper there to the side. This does have a pocket door, which is really cool. And you can lock it from the inside, which is nice. So you can have a little privacy in there if you need to. So you can pop that open and this feels pretty good. Like I feel like I would have room to like get in there, get down on my knees, get the girls bathed, that sort of thing. Like it doesn't feel super tight, um, which is really nice. So I really, really enjoy this. Okay, and then as promised, here is that bed pulled down. So you can kind of see that you've got all the band up top there. You have flounder sleeping from the little scene of when they are doing their under the sea song. So you can have that vibe going on. And then you have your bed that is folded down. It's not quite as thick as your regular mattress over there. That one's probably almost twice as thick as this one is, but this isn't thin. I mean, you're not talking some two or three inch little fold out mattress. So they are definitely a lot more comfortable than the couch like fold out beds used to be. So that is nice and definitely an improvement coming over here. Again, you kind of have an extension of that scene that you have from the other fold down bed for the single bed here. So you've got that going on. Super, super cute. And I mean, what little kid would not absolutely love to sleep in an under the sea Little Mermaid style bed. And then you can peep Sebastian right there in the middle, which is so cute, I love that. And then obviously you do have to slide that out of the way for your bed. But if you were doing this and you had two people here, two people here, then obviously this would be like maybe open space. You would have some other space to put this in the room. That's just where it has to go because I have every bed situation set up in here, but that's not where that would typically go just to like note that. but. If if you, depending on where your family is, that's just where it is right now. But I do have our little bed rail over here that I mentioned earlier. So you can actually get these from Disney. You can kind of widen it out like this, or you can kind of condense it to be a little bit smaller if you needed it to do that. And then this will just raise up and down to be able to put it under the bed and be a bed rail for your kiddos. Um, it works best on the large bed here. You can put it under this one. It does kind of cause a little bit of cupping on these mattresses when you do that because of the kind of rim here that they have. Um, it does kind of 
it's hard to explain, but it does cause a little bit of cupping um, due to the rails going underneath the bed and not fully having room for that, if that makes sense. Um, and then again, same situation with that. It does cause a little bit of cupping on the outside, not a bunch, but you can definitely still put a bed rail under that if you needed to. But thank you again to Danielle for hosting us tonight here at this hotel. Again, I will have her information linked down below. If you are needing though more room tour ideas, more room tour setups of different hotels, you're trying to make some dishes, decisions between which hotel is gonna be best for you, you can click on my playlist here and we can keep touring some rooms together. So I'll see you over there. Bye.